today's the last day I'm gonna do anything that I really enjoy. I didn't know it at the time, but this would be my last normal day of van life for the next several weeks. On the graves In the cracks of a thousand leaves Somewhere in between Our past and our future Rolling over All the dividing things Are you still listening? Want to be heard by you Slow falling to the Indian Sea Where the cold and the heart meet And the powers that be mm. Waking up on the last morning in Buena Vista, Colorado was really special. I wasn't paying much attention to the weather, and this particular morning had a surprise snow covering for me. I'd spent the last week sleeping on public land and driving into town for work so that I could walk the dogs in an area where I wasn't quite as concerned about mountain lion activity. I didn't know it at the time, but this would be my last normal day of van life for the next several weeks. I haven't been home since November. I have three medical appointments that are way overdue, one being the ear issues I've been dealing with for quite some time now. Those appointments were originally scheduled for early May. My videos are about three weeks behind, so this footage was actually captured in March. With the majority of BLM land in Colorado still very much covered in deep snow, I found myself stressing over where I would go next. I had no desire to go into New Mexico, and there wasn't going to be any BLM land for me to work and spend the week east of Denver. With that, and a few other factors in mind, I decided to move my appointments up to the second week of April, drive like a madwoman after work each night, and be back in Kentucky three weeks early, just in time for my brother's baby shower. We are waking up today at the Bass Pro Shop outside of Colorado Springs. I slept a lot better last night, but it did start to get very windy. Today kind of feels like the last day of traveling before I'm like really heading home. I mean, I've been heading home for a while, but I am... Today's the last day I'm going to do anything that I really enjoy. So, um... We're going to attempt to do a hike today. I am sad to inform you that I did return the boots that I bought last week. They were just too narrow. I have wide feet. And so I took them back and exchanged them for these. Not as cute, but comfort matters more than cute. So we're going to try to do this hike today. It's very windy. Hence why my hair looks so wild, because I just came in from taking the dogs out. So, I'm excited just to go for a hike. <sighs>
Nope. Oak shortcut. Spruce meadow. Hmm. happened but very quickly into that hike i missed a turn hmm. mountaintop loop oak shortcut spruce meadow hmm. and it was for the best i decided to just keep going because the path we were on was very open my face is frozen it's actually hard for me to talk right now because it's so cold and that is part of the reason why we kept going if I followed the trail where I was supposed to go, I would have been in the woods. Um, and it's like 24 degrees right now. So I really wanted to stay in the sun because I knew I'd be a little bit warmer. Um, also, the hike I was planning for was five and a half miles. Probably not the best idea to take off in brand new boots for five and a half miles. But I think we got about two and a half, three, which is more than enough for right now. I'll get the dogs out again later, get some more mileage in, but for now I'm going to eat breakfast and I don't know, maybe go look at some other parts of Colorado Springs. Um, I like this area a lot. Maybe it might be adding that to the list of potential places to live. We'll see. With my last day of fun behind me, I spent my last night at a Love's truck stop in Bennett, Colorado. I mapped my way home, planning for no more than three hours of drive time each night, a safe place to sleep, and direct access to a park where I could work during the day and walk the dogs on my lunch break. I knew it was going to be a long, stressful week, so we called it a night early and braced for day one of the long journey home. Day one was actually a Sunday, so I planned to knock out as much of the drive as possible, freeing up my evenings after work during the week. I always say that every town east of Denver is basically Kansas, so when you think you're already in the Sunflower State, which by the way, I've not seen a single Sunflower in Kansas, surprise, you're not. You're still in Colorado. But once you do cross the state line, literally nothing changes. It's just flat and somehow also very hilly at the same time. Confusing, I know, I don't make the rules, I just observe the land. We did have time to squeeze in one last activity before our final stop in Salida. If you're surprised to learn that there are bad lands in Kansas, join the club. But with not many other hiking options on our route, I decided to check them out. Come, guys, come. I like to find places like this. Six and a half hours of driving to the end needed to break it up. This looks, I mean, it's just like a miniature version of the Badlands of South Dakota, which we've been to. Um, 
but it's, I mean, it's really cool to see in the middle of Kansas because I certainly did not think there was anything in Kansas other than rolling hills and tornadoes. But we're not going to stay long because we're the only ones here and that always creeps me out. There's power in numbers and right now that number is one. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to I spent most of my drive on day two reflecting on my time driving to Utah last year. I made a much longer trip in much less time, but I also wasn't working a full-time job then. I had freedom and flexibility, and I wasn't confined to one spot for an entire week at a time. The rest of the week looked pretty much the same. Wake up, drive to a park, work eight hours, drive to the next spot, repeat. I'm thankful to have a paycheck again, but I am really longing for something that offers more flexibility. That is, after all, the number one reason why I wanted to live in a van in the first place. A funny thing happened on day three. If you've ever wondered why it appears that I only shower at truck stops, which are not cheap by the way, that's because I do. My uncle's a trucker and he gets me hooked up with free showers. I have a ton of respect for truckers, not just my uncle, and I have found them to be extremely kind people. But as far as showers go, I do have a Planet Fitness membership. However, I prefer the privacy and cleanliness of a loves shower. I arrived at this location late and it wasn't until the next morning that my uncle and I realized we both slept at the same truck stop. In fact, based on the timestamps from our dinner receipts, our paths were only off by about 10 minutes. How wild is that? As the routine of working all day at a park and driving for a few hours each night started to grow very old and very annoying, Day four took me from Boonville, Missouri to a town just west of St. Louis into a much more familiar territory. The next day after work, I drove through St. Louis crossed the Mississippi River and started to see signs for cities in the bluegrass state, pushing on towards my friend's driveway as the sun went down and the place I used to call home was on the horizon. I was young, I was sitting in the sun, I was tired of the run, I was done. Life was great, life was hard. In a way, an awful card you can't win the losing hand. But the rain stopped falling, 
And the line on the floor was crawled And the pain I'd been feeling Washed away to return another day I was cold, I was bold I had fragmented my soul into pieces contradicting themselves.